Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com here to talk about the MDI transducer in an Ultrex, Ultera, Tarova, and in my opinion, one of the reasons why you don't want these actually on your trolling motor. Almost fell over, it's heavy. All right guys, this is the new MDI transducer that comes in an Ultera, Tarova, and an Ultrex. Now, one of the first things I want to say is it's big, it's a honker, it's built into the trolling motor uh, foot itself, which honestly is a really, really cool thing. It's super clean for installation, super ease of use ability, plug it into the back with an adapter cable into your uh, Humminbird unit, and you've got MDI if the unit is capable of the MDI plus transducer. Now, here's the big reason why I do not like this transducer. The main reason is, one, it is so big, you have no other placement to put another transducer on here, but two, more importantly, from a service standpoint, the guys that are fishing shallow, me, most of the bass guys, if you take this thing and beat it up in the rocks, trees, stumps, whatever you wanna call it, end up damaging it to fix it, you are taking the entire trolling motor off, taking it to an ASC center, they have to replace it. Now, it does have a pigtail, that goes up the shaft of the trolling motor. There's an extension cable that plugs in from here that goes to your unit. But again, we have to disassemble your trolling motor to be able to do that. So there's costs and labor plus downtime involved for you to get back out on the water. Now, if you had a regular US-2 sonar, Ultrex, Ultera, or Tarova, you could mount either an SI or DI transducer on here, even from Hummingbird still, and run it up the shaft of the trolling motor like we've already been doing for years. Now, I understand the Altera guys and understand the Tarova guys, why you're gonna want this transducer versus mounting one externally. It turns into a nightmare with a sliding shaft trolling motor externally mounting a transducer. Completely understand that. Don't really have an argument for you guys on that. This is mostly gonna be related to the Ultrex guys and the Fortrex guys. Again, just because we're bass fishermen, we are going to be tearing this stuff up. We're gonna be breaking it and it's going to cost you downtime until you can get it into an ASC center to get it repaired. Second thing is, you could attempt to mount a transducer to this here, but it's going to be hard to keep it on correctly and keep it functioning. So again, I am a huge proponent of not having this big old MDI transducer on there. Now, some of the competitors' companies are making it to where the customer, you, can change that yourself. You have different transducer options you can put on there. I think that's a great thing. I would anticipate probably seeing something closely related to that from Encoda in the future. But again, currently here right now, 2019 product, MDI transducer, I would not recommend having that built into your Ultrax trolling motor. Any other questions, guys, be sure to put them in the comments, email us, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you like, share, and hit that bell so you guys know we have a new video out.